Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to set up a tank track chain using VRF Plus Pro. Let's get started. First, we will plan the placement of the handle points on the Bezier curve object. We'll place the handle point here. As you can see, the handle point will slightly go inside the tank wheel. Now let's place the next handle point, here, 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 then here, 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 and finally here. The marker positions should be as close as possible to the tank wheels. Press Shift plus A. Choose Curve, then select Circle. Now position the curve object as shown in the video. To make it easier, we will align the Bezier curve object with the coordinates of the front tank wheel. Then, select the Bezier curve or circle object, press Shift plus S, and choose Selection to Cursor. Enter Edit Mode. Select all handle points, then adjust the rotation and scale to match what is shown in the video. Make sure the handle points go inside the tank wheels. Now, select three handle points, as seen in the video. Press E to extrude, and move the selected handle points to the back tank wheel. Next, we will adjust the handle points one by one. Follow the tutorial provided. As we can see, some handle points are already positioned according to the markers we planned. Now we will add more handle points. Select two handle points, press W, then choose Subdivide. Adjust the handle point positions as shown in the tutorial. Select two handle points, press W, Subdivide. Adjust the handle point positions. Select two handle points, press W, subdivide. Adjust the handle point positions. Select two handle points, press W, then choose subdivide. Adjust the handle point positions. It looks like all the handle points are set as planned. Remember, these handle points will be parented to each tank wheel so they can be animated. This will also allow the handle points to move up and down with the ground surface.
Next, we will rename the object to chain curve left. Also, make sure to match the data name with the object name, chain curve left. Then we will mirror and duplicate the chain curve left object. We can temporarily hide any unnecessary objects in the viewport. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the chain curve dot left object. Change the transform pivot point to 3D cursor. Press Ctrl plus M, X. Press Enter. Now rename the object to Chain Curve Right. Also, make sure to rename the data to match the object name, Chain Curve Right. It's important to remember to apply the scale to avoid any miscalculations later. Press Ctrl plus A, then choose Scale. Now we can see the scale value is 1. Next, we will start adding the chain objects along the Bezier curve. Let's take a look at the chain object we will use as the master chain object. Make sure the rotation value is 0 and the scale value is 1. The location value doesn't need to be 0. Also make sure the object's median point is as shown in the video tutorial. Okay, now select the chain curve left object. Go to the end panel. Select the target object chain left. Click the create array object button. Now we can see the chain object attached to the curve line. Follow the video tutorial to see how to adjust it. Next, select all the chain objects. We can select them all through the collection. We will now smooth the surface. Go to the object menu, then choose Shade Auto Smooth. We will repeat the process for the right side, following what is shown in the video tutorial. Finally, we're almost done. Next, we will tidy up the collection to make it easier for the rigging process later. Follow along with the video tutorial. We can try moving all the chains along the curve. Make sure the curve object is selected then go to the Curve Data tab, open the Path Animation panel, and adjust the Evaluation Time parameter. Lastly, we can unhide all the objects we hid earlier in the viewport. Let's test the handle points to see if they need any more adjustments. It looks like the tank chain setup is perfect. Happy test driving and see you in the next video.